Here's six green. Like I said yesterday, that tree that just got the snocker and beat out of it with the wind, it is dropping leaves like crazy. And this green has already been blown off once today, but now the wind is coming straight out of the east and that's what we get. So lots of leaf cleanup to go. Okay, so as I said before, we were gonna sand the greens pretty good, pretty heavy. And two functions of that. One is to make sure we really try and smooth the surfaces as best we can before heavy golfing season gets here. And two, all that extra sand helps cover up the algae. And if we can block the sun from reaching the algae, then the plant has no ability to make food and it starves to death and dies. So. You know, we're going to keep a good dose of sand on the greens right now until we get out of this weather pattern and the weather breaks. We start drying these things down a little bit. The sand really helps control algae. And you can see how devastated the ficus hedge is. Just the leaves got a smacker and knocked out of them. The one on 16 is even thinner. Really the only significant damage that we received was a giant sinkhole right in this area. And the reason for the sinkhole was when we were putting in the irrigation system, we were digging up all these massive boulders everywhere and we needed some place to get rid of them. And we dug a huge berry pit right in there and put all these boulders in. So after we received that 11 inches of rain last week and the ground liquefied, it just basically ran down the side of the boulders in the pit and we had a few sinkholes pop up so it's the same thing that's been happening on the side of 13 rough i'll show you that right now back when we did the golf course in 2009 we did the same thing we just buried a giant boulder field full of stuff that we've dug up and every now and then we get tons of rain ground liquefies so let me show you that right now. So over here on the side of 13, like there's 13 green down there. There is another giant berry pit around the left side, just inside the car path of boulders from 2009 when we put the drainage system in. And every now and then you can see like right there is a little depression. So if you see it, just let us know. We'll come out and we fill it and it's just going to be a long long time of that dirt washing in and us coming out here and filling it so lots of rain tiny little sinkholes hey country club is billy i'm on my way home and we were able to get everything mowed and for the most part get everything substantially cleaned up so we're going to open the golf course tomorrow and it's not super perfect but it's in pretty good shape. We top dressed. The greens are real heavy today, so you know, we wanted to get a good dose of sand on them so we could help get them smoothed out, get some of that algae covered up so we can help start a little bit of recovery. One of the things that all of my buddies are saying and uh, our turf consultant noticed in his recent visits post storm too was the salt burn on this storm because we didn't get tons of rain was pretty substantial the wind picked up all that salt water and just kind of carried it kind of like a mist and deposited all on the south side of the tree so if you go out and play golf look to the west southwest side of things you're going to see it just burn to a crisp on the north side northeast side it's not so bad and then there's not quite so bad on the past pallum because it's pretty salt tolerant and we just sprayed everything today with some fertilizer and fungicide that's pretty green right now but if when we didn't have all the sand on the greens themselves that's bermuda grass a bermuda grass is not nearly as salt tolerant it got a got a little tinge a little golden hue to it so we're gonna play some golf tomorrow 
we're gonna we got all the bunker rakes back out there might not be all of the divot boxes and we're gonna try and get all the combo stakes and stuff like that out but not everything is ready for perfect golf and we will get we'll wrap it all up monday and tuesday of next week so just want to say thank you to the club for being patient with us while we did our due diligence and getting everything cleaned up and want to say thank you from my guys um, to all the clubhouse staff for taking care of us my chef miguel had us lunch every day in the clubhouse and rachel and the gang the food and beverage department they all pitched in I even had nate and his guys out help picking up sticks and stuff so it was a total team effort all the way around and i want to say thank you to the memberships for being patient with us so see you guys tomorrow take care everyone